Okay, boys and girls, let's have a look at some of the words for today's pages that we'll be reading from our new book. All right, our first word... Well, the picture looks like this. It's a hole in the mountain. Do you remember this word? We practiced with the A blank E sound a long time ago. Do you remember? Cave. Remember to practice saying the word with your teacher. Cave. 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 Remember with A blank E, we make the long A sound and the E is silent. So it's a K, A, V, cave. A cave. A cave. Where, do, where do you think a bear would live? In a cave. Where do you think we can find a cave? Correct. We can find a cave in the mountains. Mountain. Let's practice it in singular first. So I'll do it like this. Two syllables. Mountain. Mount. Tin. Mountain. 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 And we remember we add S to show it is plural, to show there are many mountains. Mountains. Let's practice one more time. In the mountains. In the story we read, would you rather live in a cave in the mountains? So somewhere here in the mountains, there is a cave where the bears or even we could live. Okay, a cave in the mountains. Okay, what else words could we find? The next one is a, do you know him? It's called a TP. T P. Two syllables, but both with the long E sound, T P. T P. A teepee is a type of tent that Indians used to make in America a long time ago. All the native Indians who used to live there would make teepees out of sticks and stones and leather. So would you rather live in a cave in the mountains or a teepee with a... Fountain. Let's practice with a fountain. The sound is almost the same. Mountain, fountain. One more time. TP with a fountain. Okay, not bad at all. Let's do the last ones together. We're going to do everything for the last few pages. So, a teepee in, with a fountain, a cave in the mountains. What about a house living in a tree? This is what we call a tree house because the house is in the tree. So, let's practice the words together. Tree. House. Tree, house. Put them together a little bit faster. Tree house. Tree house. A tree house is what we call a home that has been built high up in a tree. And where can we find many trees? Most people call it the forest, but some countries call it the woods. So we can find a tree house in the woods. So somewhere in these trees 
There might be a house. Let's practice them together. Tree house in the woods. One more time. Tree house in the woods. All right. What if we play a quick little game? Can you tell me what is the name for these pictures? Let's see. What is this one? If you guessed in the woods, you were correct. What about, ooh, teacher forgot one. I forgot two, I'm sorry boys and girls. We have a tent, I think this is a word we've done before. Tent in K2 or K1. Tent, T, like the number 10, we plus T, tent. A tent. We use a tent if we want to go camping away from our home. Do you remember a home? O blank E. Home. Tent. Home. Practice with teacher one more time. Tent. Tent. Home. Home. And the last word that we need for our book today is a person's name. And his name is Robin Hood. Let's practice slowly. Robin. 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 Hood. Hood. Put them together. Robin Hood. One more time. Robin Hood. Okay, let's get back to our game. What is this? In the mountains. What is this? A teepee. What about this one? With a fountain. Easy. A tree house. What about this one? Where do bears live? In a cave. And where might we find a cave? Maybe in the woods? Maybe in a mountain with a fountain. All right. Nice and easy, boys and girls. Make sure you practice the words nicely so you can read the book all alone. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.